Have you ever gotten really into something? Favorite game, TV show, or anything really? We have a tendency to just, once we start doing something, just keep doing it forever. Oh, hold on. My energy's recharged. <laughs> no, but seriously, we really get caught up in the things we like. It can be very easy for something to turn from a hobby into an obsession. And not long after, we might even start following it like an idol, a false god. But wait, what does this have to do with our search for a perfect leader? Well, the last few weeks we've been talking about good old King Solomon. He built a temple, he judged cases for the public. He's been overall a promising guy. But good old King Solomon wasn't always perfect. He too got a bit caught up in things he liked. And it hurt his relationship with God. Let me give you a look-see. We've already talked about how wise Solomon was. He asked God for wisdom, and God gave it to him. But here's the stories of something not so wise Solomon did. He made deals with other kings that the kings would send their daughters to marry Solomon. Not just one king and not just one daughter who would be one wife. He got lots. Not even just lots. More than ten. More than twenty. More than fifty. More than a hundred. More than five hundred. He had seven hundred wives. He let them bring their gods with them. They all had idols, false gods, that they wanted to keep worshipping. He let them. Then they had him worship the false gods with them. And he did. It pulled him away from the true God. How could it be that such a wise man was being so foolish in his worship? He loved all his wives too much. He listened to them even more than he listened to God. As a result, God gave this punishment. He declared he would take Solomon's kingdom from him. He would give it to his servant. Despite this, he would wait until after Solomon was dead. And, out of respect for David, his father, he would give one single tribe out of the twelve tribes of Israel to Solomon's son. The servant's name was Jeroboam. Solomon was angry and tried to have Jeroboam killed, but he escaped to Egypt until Solomon died. So, uh, so much for Solomon being the leader we were looking for. But nonetheless, we can learn something from Solomon's mistake. We should have no other gods. It says so in the book of Exodus. Never have any other God. We need to keep God on top. When we get so obsessed with something it becomes the most important thing in our lives, it becomes an idol, a false God. We have to do our very best not to let that happen, and keep God as the most important.